Studio lecture, I'm going to discuss what how to connect Git with VS Code, and after that, going to run this program using Git inside the VS Code. So if I open there VS Code, and if I go on this, so power cell is there. If I go drop down, then you can not see Git or base or kind of things there. So what we need to do? So let's close this one first uh, here, or let's uh, create new directory. So here, giving the name git. Uh, after that, here currently I don't have any git. So in Google search box, write there git. Then go on this site, click there. So this is the latest version for the Windows and currently using the 64-bit operating system. So click there. So here the Git is now currently downloading. This is exe file and the size is 64.7 MB is the size. So after that, going to install the Git. So let's click on this, open. Then after, double click on this exe file. Click on this, run and let's close this on here this is the installation wizard click on next 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 no need to change anything click on next only so now after that here this is installing the git inside the windows operating system so it's uh, currently processing wrong. Now this turn here. After that, let's click on this finish. If I go on this CMD and write their git, then you can get this all those things. Check the version, write their git minus minus version. And here you can see this version is there. After that, if I write their base. So git base app that's come there. Okay, this I can use inside the VS code. So let's open there VS code first. First uh, here, let's uh, select file, open folder. So I created the folder git app, select that. Git app that's open there. After that, let's click on this plus, creating one new file. So giving the name test.sh. Now ss file that's created. Select this code and paste it here. Control S to save. After that, terminal, new terminal. So PowerShell that's selected. Now you can see this time git base that's come there. Since git is installed, git base that's come there. You need to select this one. And after that, you can see that's come there. Now the next is going to run this code. Dot backward slash here. Let's write test dot sh. So hello world, that's display. So git program currently running inside VS code. List or test another code. So here adding two number. Copy this and paste the control S. Control S to save. After that, let's give here. So here you can see sum is 13. That's display. So base is now that's come inside here or this inside the VS code. So this is how we can connect Git with the VS code and run this code. So I hope guys this video is the help for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.